Hi guys, greetings of the day. I am Vijay Tavad and welcome you to my YouTube channel for learning a subject called as Fluid Power Engineering for 5th semester and Fluid Power System for 7th semester as per my tube syllabus. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, kindly subscribe. Also click on the bell icon to receive the latest lectures as and when it is going to be uploaded in my YouTube channel. Now let's start the session number 9 for the subject. In the previous session, we have completed the module 1 and let us start with the module 2 pumps and actuators. These are the syllabus we are going to discuss. Now the pumps part syllabus is mentioned here, accumulators part, actuators part and the construction and working of the actuators parts also we are going to discuss in detail in the preceding sessions. Now what is called as a pump? A pump is a mechanical device which rises a physical quantity or a medium from lower energy level to a higher, higher energy level or which increases the energy level of the fluid. As the name of the pump depends on the medium which is rising from lower level to a higher level. And the medium generally would be used called as a fluid and it could be heat also etc. Now based on the medium we have a small subclassifications like F pumps is classified as the fluid pumps and heat pumps. And then the fluid pumps are further divided into liquid pumps and gas pumps which we are going to discuss in our concepts. We are least bothered about the heat pumps in the subject is concerned. What is called as a liquid pumps? The liquid pumps are used either to rise a liquid from lower point to a higher point and the most common being water pumps or increase the pressure of the liquid. As the pressure increases, the liquid can be raised to a higher level or the energy contained in the liquid can be utilized to do useful work. And coming to gas pumps, these gas pumps are used to raise the pressure of the gas with an intention of liquefying the same for the purpose of transportation and also for the storage. And coming to heat pumps, and heat pumps are those which pumps the heat from a lower temperature to a higher temperature as in case of the refrigerators and air conditioners etc. And one of the most important elements considered as the heart of a hydraulic system is the power generating element. And the power generating elements are those which imparts the energy to the fluid using the mechanical energy by means of hydraulic device which converts mechanical energy into hydraulic energy and these devices we call it as hydraulic pump. Now you can see the hydraulic pump is a source of a hydraulic power. It imparts the hydraulic energy of the oil where you can see the figure. Now this is a figure which shows the pump as a source of a hydraulic energy and this is the graphical symbolic representation. Now let us understand how does an hydraulic pump which is going to work that is nothing but the working law, working principle of a pump. Now let us have a simple figure, a sketch which is going to explain it. The principle upon which any pump functions is that a partial vacuum is going to be created when the internal parts that is nothing but the gears in the case of a gear pumps, main in the case of a main pumps and piston in case of a piston pump. We are going to discuss in detail in our sessions. And then it receives a mechanical energy and go through their cycle. Oil is forced into the pump casing due to the atmospheric pressure acting on the oil and the suction created by the pumping element. This oil is then squeezed between the pumping elements or a casing, resulting in increasing in the pressure. And this pressurized oil is forced out of the pump as the cycle progresses. Now all the pumps works on the same principle generating difference in pressure and increasing in volume on the intake and decreasing in volume at the discharge sites. Now the figure illustrates the concepts of the section pumps. Now I have a small animation of the video you can see when one is going to be rotated, that is the gear pumps, this is called as external gear pump, where you can see one is going to be connected to the electrical source, another is going to be connected to the uh, idler body, where this is a driven shaft and this is going to be a driving shaft and the gears. 
Now you can see when it is going to rotate it, a pocket is going to be created where the pressure drop is going to happen, thus it is going to set and it will be delivered to the high pressure fluid will be delivered to the fluid line wherever it is necessary. The portion of this one is explained here in the animated format. Now coming to the classifications of the hydraulic pumps, what we are going to have a discussion in this module. Now, these pumps are broadly classified by the fluid power industry based on the two types. One is called as hydrodynamic pumps, which are also called as non displacement pumps, sorry, non positive displacement pump. Why it is called so? In case of a pump, wherein the inertia of the fluid in motion is used to displace and transfer the fluid, are called non positive displacement pumps. Then when we are going to call it as positive displacement pump and it is also called as hydrostatic pumps, it is called the positive displacement pump because the liquid will always be in contact during the cycle of operation with the moving pumping elements such as a piston, wear, gear, etc. which is as shown in the previous slide. Now, again those hydrodynamic or hydrostatic or the non-positive or positive type of hydraulic pumps will be subclassified like this. The hydrodynamic will be considered as a centrifugal, axial and radial. Coming to hydrostatic, it can be classified as rotary and reciprocating. Then the reciprocating is further divided into axial and radial. And in the same fashion, the axial is once again have a subclassification like inline and bent axis. And again, the bent axis it could be a variable, it could be an incline, it could be a cam or crank. In the same fashion, the radial pumps will be having a stationary or the rotating type of pumps. This is about the reciprocating type. Coming to rotary type, it is again classified as gear pumps wave pumps and screw pumps. Again, the gear pump will be having a subclassification like external and internal, whereas the vein pumps are having a subclassification like fixed and variable type. And then coming to the screw type, now before the screw type, the fixed type is having the balanced and unbalanced type. And coming to this, uh, this is called as the classification of hydraulic pumps, what we can now in the next session, I am going to take you to the next part that is called as positive displacement pump and the pumping theory. Now, thanks for your patience listening to the session. If you have any sort of doubts, feel free to use the comment section for the further discussion. I will answer all your questions related to the topics covered in the session. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Have a great day. Signing off, Vijay Dubak. Thank you.